The Indo-Pacific is one of the world's most strategically sensitive regions where China is rapidly expanding its influence. Beijing is strengthening its military, building alliances, advancing in technology and challenging the global balance of power. How will a Trump presidency respond to this rise and what impact would that have on the UK and NATO? In relation to military security, I think it's pretty clear that uh, the United States was already on a trajectory, I think will be an accelerated trajectory to focus more of its military effort to, on the Indo-Pacific. And given that I don't think the American defence budget is going to increase very sharply under a Trump presidency, that means doing less elsewhere, not least in Europe. So could this mean an escalation in military tensions with China? Where Trump differs from most Republicans is that Trump really sees the relationship with China primarily in economic terms. He sees China ripping off America economically and is determined to address that. A lot of what he said suggests he's rather less concerned, not that he's not concerned, but he's rather less concerned about security. And one of the main planks of his electoral platform was a desire uh, to avoid further wars, uh, Trump as a peacemaker, Trump as a man who will bring an end to the war in Ukraine and an end to the war in the Middle East and will not get into the endless wars which he would accuse people like Liz Cheney and previous Republicans uh, and indeed Democrats of doing. Even a trade war, though, could spill over into other areas. And then there's Taiwan, a key flashpoint in US-China relations. I would say, having learned a little bit more about China, it's not in President Xi's mindset to follow Putin's uh, avenue to make a lot of noise, charge in with, the, with his military and take over the country. That's not how China does something. If they can achieve something five years from now with greater effect, uh, less effort, they'll wait five years. I don't actually see anything happening um, militarily in the very near future. The stakes are high in the Indo-Pacific and whatever course the Trump administration chooses, Britain and NATO will have to find ways to collaborate. Claire Sadler, BFBS Forces News. Thanks for watching. For more from BFBS Forces News, like and subscribe to our channel.